Hi guys, my name is Gina James Cole and welcome to The Sims Free Play video. In today's video, we are checking out the new Architect homes that were released into Sims Free Play around the 23rd, 24th of September, I think, 2017. The reason we take a tour of these and check them out is that if there is anything that is worth loads of LP or SP or maybe limited time prizes that you didn't win, you can get them by building these houses. So it's a pretty great way. They are extremely expensive, extremely, extremely expensive, but it may be worth it to some people. It's definitely been worth it for me in the past to build some of the houses. I'm going to show you these on a premium sized lot, but I think by the looks of it, it looks like most of them, if not all of them, or maybe not all of them, but most of them anyway will be available to build on a standard size lot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. So here we have the first one. This is a two story build. I like the design of it. Let's take a little look what we've got inside. If anything, that's very rare. Ooh, this um i don't i can't remember what he's called but he might be worth uh, getting for he's like worth so many lps it's unbelievable i think and what else have we got oh a little cauldron i love that cauldron fireplace anything else i don't think there's anything particularly downstairs now let's take a little look upstairs nothing really rare or anything in this build but you may like to build it just for the design of it and then you can kind of redo it your own thing with it here's house number two and this has oh three floors neo tokyo design on the outside i love the look of this house let's take a look at what we have so first floor straight away we've got a lot of the sp doors so you may want to build it the SP doors. I always feel like it's worth building the houses that have got lots of SP doors or windows, especially windows. Windows more than doors because I think you need more windows than you do doors in your life really, don't you? Uh, let's take a look what have we got. Uh, I think, yeah, that's the breakdancing map that I think is LP. That computer I feel like must be SP or something. We have some of the dance maps so if you didn't take part in the dance event and get the dance map then maybe you might want to build it to get this. I like this house actually. Let's take a look upstairs. It's really nice. It's just done. The whole style is just Neo Tokyo. Is that a... What's that bath? Is that a Neo Tokyo bath? I feel like the bathroom stuff... I never use this bathroom stuff. So when I don't recognise something, it tends to make me think that it's LP or SP. Generally, I could be wrong on that. But these bamboos are worth... What about pay possibly? And is this a smoke machine? I think that that's the smoke machine from the dance event as well. And then upstairs we've got a little kitchen. I mean, it's nice. It may be worth building. Are the door maybe the Neo Tokyo doors worth an LP or two? Possibly. I could be wrong on that. But um, that yeah, that's quite a nice build. I really like that. Nothing major in it. I mean, apart from like the windows and doors and a couple of dance things. Nothing major, but it could be worth it for some people to build. Here's the third house. This is two story build. Oh, this is cute. It's got a little swing there and a nice little area at the back there, pool area. What have we got? I feel like there's nothing. But how do you watch the telly in this? This is weird. You want your back to the TV. I feel like there's not gonna be anything rare in this house. I don't know why I get that feeling. I just kinda do. Take a look upstairs. Yeah, nothing. Oh, look at these cute little work rooms back here. Yeah, nothing major in this house. Oh, some spa. Or I say some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some spa stuff. Spa bathroom stuff there. Possibly. You may want to build it for that. I don't think I will be building that one, but it's a nice build. Whoever built that. Here's the fourth house. And is this maybe a premium lot? I think this is a premium lot build. Three floors. Let's take a look at the overall house. Yeah, it looks quite nice. I'm um, very open plan. Down here, kind of just bog, standard kind of stuff, nothing major. So we got a fireplace, not a fireplace, a campfire, which was the prize for the storytelling hobby, I believe, over at the campgrounds, which you may not have got. So I, I know that I didn't win it initially. I have won it now, but I didn't win it initially. Um, I, long story, I've got a different game. But anyway, um, yeah, that might be worth getting that fire pit. It's not a fire pit. Why do I keep calling it by its wrong name? Campfire. Yeah, campfire, that's what it is. Okay, upstairs. A few different bedrooms. 
Mm, let's go next floor. I mean, there's nothing major particularly. They've got these. I feel like these are a couple of SP or LP each. This little fountain is a couple of SP or LP. Nothing major in the house, but it's a nice little build nonetheless. And you might want to build it just for the campfire out at the back there. Here's the fifth house. Not much furniture in this. I really like that floor, although it looks kind of strange. The whole house being done there with not much furniture. But we've got two stories. Oh, it's a little donut house. Has it got a... No, I was going to say, has it got a pool in the middle? But no, it's just got a little a courtyard area. This looks really nice. Look at that. I love these. The, the homestead um, windows. I really like them. Not the homestead. The um, penthouse windows, possibly. I can't remember. Here's the sixth house two-story I like this look at this yeah that looks nice standard size what do we have anything come on I was really impressed it seems to be like there was the last architect homes were really good I think there was quite a few of them in there I quite built quite a few and then we kind of go through like alternate like really good ones and then like not so good ones in the next architect release I mean, not that I'm criticising these, it's just that they don't have, like, rare items in and that's the only reason, generally, that I would build an architect home, because they are so expensive. Nothing up here, really. No, yeah, there's nothing, nothing major in that house, but it is a really sweet little build. I like the blue brick, actually. I don't think I ever use blue brick in my houses, but I think that looks really nice. The seventh house, and two floors again. Got some urban kitchen stuff, if you didn't get that. Come on, I really want something like, oh, I was just going to say, like a fireplace. This fireplace is quite a lot of LP, I believe. And we've got a spa bath. Always good. Oh, some more spa stuff up here. I like it when we get, like, toddler toys and things. Like, the bricks are worth something like, are they 12 LP? Something that, like, I just don't feel like they're worth. So, if you want some toddler toys, you get some bricks with this house. Here's our eighth house, and we have, ooh, four floors. I have a feeling that this is kind of separate apartments. I feel like I've seen this before, or a very, very similar version of this in previous architect homes. It's got a fondue set. Yes, I'm building this. I always, I really like, I never ever use them in my builds, actually, but I just have a thing that, I just think that fondue set is like one of the best little items in the game. Look at it. It's so amazing. I'm going to build this so I can get a fondue set. It's got a bar in that one that's worth some LP. What else do we have? Are these work surfaces? Those two corner ones there. They are SP or LP. I'm pretty sure of it. What else have we got? Some spa stuff here. Or oh, maybe it's not in... Oh, yeah, oh, I don't know what it is actually. Yeah, I, think, I don't think it is houses. I think it's just like spa places possibly but then I don't know because it's got bedrooms upstairs whatever they are <laughs> I'm gonna build this for the fondue set if I'm honest it's a lot to pay for a fondue set how much is this house like it's gonna cost me 17 million to build this house that's insane maybe I won't we'll just have to <laughs> wait and see that just seems kind of crazy here is our last house I've got to be honest I've been a little bit disappointed so far so I'm pinning all my hopes on this house it is a premium size lot house looks like it's got a balcony and a couple of floors maybe this is the one this has got like everything in it let's take a look at it as a whole first of all oh yeah look that's nice it's got lots of the sp windows straight away let's go first floor and we've got one of those little fountains at the start oh it's like a bar area this is okay this isn't a house this is Ooh, lots of toilets back there. There's like a restaurant bar area there. We've got a record player, like a, it's a 50s or 60s, 70s, one of the two record players that cost LP or SP. Nice outdoor area. How much are the sundials? I don't really use sundials, so again, I feel like they must be LP or SP. Let's take a look downstairs in the basement. Oh, we've got cinema bedroom oh we've got this tv scandinavian tv which i love but is lpsp that's definitely a plus for this house that it's got that tv some blue onion or the blue onion bed actually i was gonna say blue onion bedroom furniture but that's just the bed that it's got a disco ball okay pretty cool some spa stuff down there as well 
let's go up to the second floor not first floor we've been to the first floor second floor we have got anything come on give us some rare I don't think it's gonna let's go up to the next floor no it hasn't really got anything what's going on here oh that just confused me there with the uh, the wallpaper it's nothing major so it's got a, a TV there, orange or whatever, gold, onion, it's not gold, maybe it's gold, I don't know actually. It's got that TV, it's not really got anything major that is making me think I've absolutely got to build this house. That is a disappointment. It looks really nice but it's not really got anything. So there you go, there is a tour of the nine homes. Let me know, are you going to be building any? I honestly don't think I'm going to... I don't, don't know, maybe I'll build the fondue set one, but I mean, 17 million for a fondue set. The most expensive fondue set in the history of all time. Let me know if you're going to build any or not, which one's your favourite design. If you built any of them, if you designed any of them, let me know, because I'd love to find the people that um, design these houses. It must be so cool. I'm going to maybe try and submit some of mine. I keep saying that every time I do one of these videos, I say, I'm going to submit one of mine. And I never ever do, but this time I'll try and remember <laughs> to do it. But thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!